not just one major river, but one one flow that technically turns into this thousands of little creeks and streams. As the tide drops later on, you're going to see about three foot of roots exposed. Um, so a pretty substantial tide flow. Which is very good. Because just like with our osprey population, um, and a lot of our heron population, and eagle population, they don't migrate even like that sound. Yeah. You know, on a calm day, you can hear that pretty far off. Now imagine a sloshing and, and slapping sound over here. You know, if you were camping on the beach at nighttime, you would hear that. Very oh loud. my god. Did you see that? Drop a tree, and then over the process of the winter, whenever the bugs have subsided and the um, water wasn't high, they would char and chip and char and chip until they like any place where you can, you see sailors. There's always going to be that one weirdo that's like, you know, I'm getting in my boat today. I'll see you guys next year. I'm going to be gone an entire year. And when I come back, I'm going to tell you about all the cool stuff I, I saw. had for dinner last night. Pompano, man. I tell you what, fresh pot pompano is one of the best things in the world. Really? These are snowy eagles. And if you look, the snowy eagles have bright yellow feet and black. Oh. The pointy end is known as the apex. This is what's known as a cycle. 